Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a regulated mod out of Germany and that is the Vape Droid. It's a uh, 26650, um, very small 26650. I mean, look at that. I can basically cover it all in my entire hand. Uses the SX350J chip. Um, comes to you already upgraded to the 75 watt firmware. So uh, plenty of power there for you guys. Um, even got 3D buttons on this thing, 3D printed buttons on it. Um, it's, it's quite incredible. First time I've ever sort of seen or used a 3D printed mod. And for those of you who don't know what 3D printing is, you probably do. It's all the rage. You know, I've got I've got a friend who's actually got one at home and makes his own little drip tips. Um, but it's like the process of making a virtual image through a 3D program, um, or, or known as a CAD file, I believe it is. And then you put that through a 3D scanner, and then that 3D scanner replicates it by putting a succession of layers and layers of materials down until it turns that virtual 3D image into an actual physical materialistic thing in your hand. Bloody amazing. It's not as simple as I've just explained it, of course, but that's pretty much the uh, the uh, ins and outs of it. That's in sort of simple idiot Damien terms. Absolutely amazing. Can't believe it. So uh, that's crazy. He's made quite a succession of these. Um, this is sort of his latest model. He's made some in the past with like dual 18650, dual 26650s, using DNA 40 chips, um, using SX350 chips and uh, using a different sort of material. Now he's sort of come up with a new material which is called Dark Matter. Where it's actually got the pigment in the base powder um, so it will come out as this sort of nice colour. It will protect it over time um, and also doesn't need to be dyed afterwards so the colours all the way through. Um, also apparently it's a bit more cost effective for him to do it this way and by making the buttons this way so he doesn't have to get the buttons milled or use Mitex switches which people are finding a bit boring now. So as he's able to keep the cost down for himself he's able to keep the cost down for us. So it's a win-win um, uh, for everybody really. We've got a um, very tube uh, sort of style black 510 deck on the top with a, a self-adjusting brass spring-loaded 510. Uh, battery battery compartment on the back held in by heavy duty magnets as well you get that nice snap over the top of your battery won't come off won't go anywhere no rattle really nice indeed and uh yeah it's sx350j you've got your buttons on the front as well no tilting so that's cool take a little blast now lovely before I get into any more details about it, what I think about it, price, where to get it from, etc, 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 let's pop down at the table now, let's have a look at it up close, and then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Stay safe. So here you have the Vape Droid C1J2 DM3, 26650 mod, using the SX350J chip. Uh, these come to you already upgraded to the 75 watt firmware. Full 3D printed mod, even down to the buttons. That's something new he started doing. He was milling them before, but um, to keep costs down uh, for himself and obviously for the buyer, he's uh, started 3D printing the buttons as well. He's using a new material for these particular ones, once again, to keep costs down, which he calls a dark matter. Um, and, and basically, it's got a pigment now in the base powder, um, so that colour goes all the way through, so it doesn't need to be dyed afterwards. And it should uh, keep it a lot, lot, lot more secure and a lot more stable over time. This one is like a raw material. He's still evaluating whether he's going to do some sort of other finish on it. It's got a bit of a rough feel to it, but uh, it's really quite nice and, and kind of acts a bit grippy. So that's cool. Don't mind that whatsoever. Now it's very, very small for a, a 26650. It's uh, 30 mil in width there. 88 mil in height and 49 mil in length. Extremely small and you can basically just hide it away in the palm of your hand. Probably one of the smallest 26650s I've seen. Um, smaller than the majority of 18650 mods that are out as well at the moment. Also extremely light as you expect from uh, 3D printed mods. 
extremely light so it, very good for going out and about very pocket friendly um, just don't you know don't forget you've got it <laughs> it's that light you got a micro USB there just to upgrade your firmware wouldn't recommend charging your 26650s from it on the top you've got a 22mm uh, base plate I think that's like a very tube 22 um, kind of black as well I think it's sprayed black so it suits the mod really well we've got a brass spring loaded self adjusting 510 there also got some grooves cut out there for uh, any atties without any airflow although they're pretty uh, pretty rare nowadays got a vape droid logo printed into the mod at the top there just a nice flat surface for putting the mod down on the bottom your battery compartment on the back uh, held in by some very very firm magnets you've even got these cutouts here which uh, acts basically as your grip to take off the back plate and also if you are unfortunate to get a battery that vents so you've got plenty of vent in there if you don't like seeing the batteries come through your mod like so I'm not really bothered um, but yeah you can always get some black wraps and uh, give it that proper all black look removing that as you can see those big chunky magnets on there gives a lovely snap not coming off not going anywhere very secure don't have to worry about those the battery's got no rattle or any movement anyway and it's almost like sealing a battery's coffin <laughs> good choice of words but we have venting so. battery's really nice and easy to remove very simple to get in and out you've even got your plus and minus signs in there just in case you get a little bit confused you have your vape droid logo on startup with the uh, model of your droid We've got some movement on that fire button just a little bit nothing really that bothers me just a bit of movement there and also very ever so slight warping on that front section there nothing really noticeable especially it being all black but on a thorough inspection you can tell it just has that little bit of warping But all in all, yeah, uh, lovely little device. Love the size of it. Love the uh, the weight of it as well. It's it's a really good going out and about mod. You know, I'll, I'll take this out with me, shove it in my top pocket, and um, yeah, it doesn't even feel like you've got a mod on you. It's uh, it's outstanding. Little latty on the top. Don't screw them in too tight. There you go. Nice little stealthy mod there. So there you have your vape droid C1J2 DM3. So there you have your vape droid. Cool little thing. Uh, I mean, 26650 at this size is, is just great. You know, smaller than most 18650s. And the weight of it is absolutely brilliant. You know, um, the look of it is pretty cool as well. Very sci-fi. You know, obviously a big fan of Star Wars, uh, the mod maker Eamon. Um, having the uh, sort of vape droid look it's got that very sort of robotic droid sort of inspired look with it you know even gone for the Darth Vader uh, sort of dark black which uh, is great you know it's a it's a cool gimmicky quirky little device um, SXJ350 chip um, you know no complaints there you've got 75 watts out of the box which uh, is going to suit the majority of you you know we're sick and tired of 40 so you've got that 75 watt you know all your 22 mil atties are going to look really nice and cool on it because you've got that 22 mil deck on the top that little catch at the back with the magnets I think it's great it doesn't move anywhere it doesn't go there's no wobbling or uh, or rattle or anything like that so that's pretty cool as well and 
And another thing, which is, I've, I like the idea of it. I mean, apart from the fact of its weight and size and being a completely pocket friendly out and about mod, you know, so you're going to the pub or somewhere like that, is I don't feel scared to knock this over or, or, or drop this. I mean, obviously, I'm going to drop it out of the top store of the top story or the top flight of my stairs or things like that. But I mean, I'm knocking over mods left, right, and center, especially my stab wood mods. And, you know, they always get like little dings in it or a little notch or something like that. And this just feels like it could take. You can take it. I mean, it's quite bouncy. It's quite soft. It's quite springy. So you could probably, you know, have a few drinks out of the pub with this, knock it off the table, and you're going to be all right. You know, and those heavy duty magnets will probably still hold on for you. You know, don't quote me on it. Don't test it. But it feels like, you know, uh, you're not too scared to drop this or knock it about or anything like that. It's it's built really well. You've got that spring loaded, so you know, no need to adjust your atomizers, which is great. You know, you've got it's all black. I mean, the finish on it is really nice, it's got that sort of like a rough finish on it, which feels like a good grip on the hand as well. I do know he's trying to find a certain finish at the moment, um, to give it more of a shine to it. This is the raw materials that he uses, um, and I do know he's trying to find something to aid it to be even more water resistant. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a good finish on it. I like it being a little bit rough. Said the vicar to the actress. Um, but yeah, it feels it feels good in the hand. Said the vicar to the actress again. Jesus, coming out of all the innuendos today. Um, I do like the the buttons on it. I do like it being the same colour as the the mod itself. That all black sort of design, which is really nice. I mean, compared to some of his previous work where he's used my text and things like that, which people are getting a bit bored of now. It's nice to see him making his own buttons and even three D printing them um, so they match the style of the mod. That's really good as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, I like it. I really do like it. It's uh, my first three D printed mod, and um, you know, I was a bit at first. You you know when I've seen them about I'm like oh no it's not stab wood is it but yeah it's it's pretty cool you know it's definitely for me my out and about mod if I'm going shopping if I'm taking the kids out um, if I'm doing anything like that that I don't really want to put say a Geppetto or something of, of stab wood nature in my pocket when I'm bloody leaning over and things like that and it drops out I mean dozens of times that happens this is that sort of mod that I want to take out with me because, you know, it just, it feels like it could sort of take a little tumble. It's very light and it would fit in probably every single pocket you've got, unless you've got them little Nancy pockets and them hipster jeans. Uh, but still, you know, you could palm it off with something else, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, so, you know, very impressed with it and the size on it and weight is just, it's just great. It really is. It really is great. Now the price on these ones, this particular one, because they do have different kind of styles of this version. You know, they've got one with milled buttons um, and uh, different finishes and things like that. But this one, the DM3, is 249 euros, I believe. So it's around 220 quid. Now, I don't know the ins and outs and prices and costs of what this 3D printing entails. So I don't know, you know, but for me as a mod, you know, and used to spending a lot of money on my mods. I mean, double that, sometimes even triple that. I think f f for a mod that I'm going to use solidly when I'm out and about, I think that's a great price. I and I really do because, uh, you know, um, I I'm, like I said, I'm not too scared to take this out and about, even if I was going to have a few drinks. Say I would a five, six hundred pound a Geppetto or something like that, you know. So 249 euros, I think is a good price. You've got your SX350J chip. It's a 26650. It's small, it's compact, um, it's very well built and it looks cool as well. So for me, I think that's a good price. Um, he's got other versions of it. One of them that's a little bit more expensive as well. I think that's a different material used. I think that's glass he actually uses. And I think that's about 349 euros. And that's got the mill buttons as well. Um, but as I said, he's trying to, this one here I think was made so that he could keep his costs down and therefore charging less from what his previous models were. So yeah, 249 euros to me. I think that's a good price, but I spend a lot of money on mods. It might not be for you, but personally, worth every penny. 
Um, now, he does have uh, a few groups and a website as well. So if you don't mind the Facebook thing, he does have a group, um, which I'll put the link in the description. He also has a like page as well, like a business page, where he does announce his lists also. So you don't necessarily have to be a member of his group. You can see that he does lists on his like page as well, which is really nice. Um, and also a website, so you can go and have a look at all the previous uh, versions of the droid he's done, plus this model as well, and have a little look over his website, you can see all the prices there, um, I'll put that link in the description as well. So, you know, I do recommend it, um, I do think it's a really nice mod, it's good looking, um, it's a very good size, great for taking out and about, you know, 26650 as well so if you're vaping the same sort of style as i do um around 20 watts it's sort of like well i've got on this i've got 25 watts on a 0.52 ohm coil and it's going to last me all today and all tomorrow you know and but you know it, it's a it's a great device um, with a big chunky battery in it um, very compact and small and stealth like so i do recommend it it's great so there you have the vape droid c1 j2 dm3 a bit of a fucking name, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, 26650 SX350J with a 75 watt capability on it. Uh, 22 mil um, spring-loaded self-adjusting brass 510. Um, uh, 3D printed with a, uh, a really nice sort of coating on it. A bit nice and uh, rough on there. Um, yeah, what more do you want? It's a, a lovely little device. So thank you very much for watching this review. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.